victorious in the Lethal Lottery Tag Team match along with her partner Sam Knight. And because of that, you have gained yourself an opportunity to fight in a triple threat match for the online championship. But what I want to know is are you proud of yourself with how you accomplished that goal? You punched referee Sean Rife in the face. <laughs> you punched him in the face. You didn't even show any mercy whatsoever. Why would I show any mercy by punching the referee in the face? He was in the match. He was legal. It's a lethal lottery. You know the concept of that? Anybody can get in it. And you know what? I punched a referee in the face. What makes you won't think I won't punch an announcer in the face? Huh? Hey, don't worry about me. Don't worry. You know, I'm not worried about you. I'm not worried about Sam Knight. I ain't worried about the warden. The only thing going through my head right now is that online championship that the heat is on, both gonna be on, and I'm gonna get that online title. You can believe that boy. It's UWC Online in the ring right now. You've got Bo Sawyer going up against the young thriller, Derek Moss. You can see the referee, Sean Reif, who is back in the ring and uh, yeah, not at all gingerly around Bo Sawyer. Bo Sawyer, you remember a couple of weeks ago, Sean Reif was picked to be in the ring and he wrestled okay until Sawyer knocked him cold. He had to take a little time off, and now he's back in the ring. And you can see Bo Sawyer, the corn-fed beast, uh, getting in his usual uh, argument with the fans. Derek Moss, the young thriller, we've seen him uh, quite a few times in the UWC. And he's taken down and just... This let him go, and, and that grin, when you see, it's almost worse to see the corn-fed beast smile than it is to see him angry. Duck under go behind by Moss. Moss gets his man up, tries to take him down. No, Sawyer lands an elbow off the ropes, and Moss lands a drop kick. And that sends Sawyer down. Sawyer wasn't looking for that. And now he's really angry, he pushes Marsh away. Oh, a chop. You can hear it hit. And Sawyer, again, instead of a chop back, he just drives him into the corner. Shoulder, 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 and they see that smash on his trunks. That's exactly what he's doing. Lands a chop on Moss. Moss comes back with a chop. Momentarily staggers the big guy. A kick to the gut, another kick to the side of the face, and whoop, doesn't get the chop. And Bo Sawyer just smacks him upside the head, kicks him, and pounds him to the mat. And the young thriller we've seen across the Midwest. Look at that. Comes up with a deep arm drag takedown off the ropes using Sawyer's own momentum against him. A couple of elbows to the side of the head. And the young thriller. Getting some crowd support and is going to try to get some momentum of his own. Comes off that second rope, comes back, runs right into. Oh! Sue really suplex into the corner. Almost landed head first. The young thriller may be out cold. One, two, no, not a very good cover. And I'm not even really sure Sawyer wanted to pin him at that point. There's so much power packed into this man. Oh, quick shot to the gut. And Moss trying to fire back with some high impact moves, but quite high impact, and that's what, oh, Bo Sawyer is about. Sawyer is one of the folks who's gonna be in there going after that online title cover. One, two, nope, Moss kicks out. He and his partner, Sam Knight, won the lethal lottery match over Jimmy Carrot and um, the referee here, Sean Wright. You see Moss being draped over that second rope. Whoa, look at this. And threatens him again with that fist that knocked him cold a while back. Just 
kicks him off, throw, measuring him now for an elbow. Moss try to turn away, just smile and lands the elbow. Cover, two, nope, not a good cover. And you can see the look on Sawyer's face, not happy at all. He thought he had him that time. Moss a little tougher than that, makes his way back up. Trying to fire back with some shots, now the shot to the side of the head. Kick to the gut. He hasn't really had to been able to take off his feet. Tries to get away. Brings him back up. It looked like it was going to be an atomic drop. Instead, just throws him to the mat and clotheslines him down for the cover. Two and no. Again, kicking out. Is Moss. Moss, drugged by his hair, to the corner. Slap to the side of the head. And Moss tries to fire back. Trying to get some momentum going. And a big bolo sends him right back to that second rope. Bo Sawyer. Stop and a bull rush. Nope, nobody home. Moss now coming up with that flying knee. Catches Bo. Now off the ropes again. Flying elbow. Comes off again and lands another elbow. Still hasn't taken the big man down, but Moss has got some momentum going. Taking his time off those ropes again. And whoop. No, thrown off that second rope and... Fat cracks himself down. And for the first time in this match, Bo Sawyer is down. Moss taking too much time. <laughs> Saying he's going to finish him off, but he's really... He got the big man down, take advantage of it. And he picks him back up. He picks the big man back up, at least halfway up. He's got the side headlock. He's going for it here. Nope. Blocked off. Up. Fireman's carry. Now fights his way back off. Does Moss. Tries a super kick. Gets caught. Back up again. Planted. One, two. No! He kicked out. Whoa, really thought. Sawyer might have had it then, and Sawyer looking at uh, referee Sean Rife. Yeah, no, no, it's one, two. He's explaining to him, his shoulder got up. And Sawyer getting into his face a little bit. I think he knows it was two, and I think he's more upset with that than anything else. Moss setting up, super kick, nails him. Nails him, he's down. One, two, no. No, it's two. That was two, I thought, for a second. I thought that three came down. That was really, really close. Moss just about had it. Some of the crowd chanting for Bo Sawyer. A lot of the crowd chanting for Moss. Moss getting ready to land that flying elbow. Sawyer, wow, that was, that was very close to a huge upset. Moss. Letting him get back up to his feet. He's very wobbly, is Sawyer. Moss spins, misses. Comes up. Ooh, Bolo. Brings him up. Fireman's carry. And takes him down. One, two, and that's it. Three. So close. Within, I would say, oh second of a win was the young thriller Derek Moss but Bo Sawyer pounded his way through literally and gets a hard fought win your next online champion he's gonna have to get through the warden to do that you can see sheer determination got him through this one he's still a little wobbly Got to give Moss an extra stomp for good measure on the way out. But Derek Moss, the young thriller, he had himself <laughs> just about a huge upset. You like cheese. You like being a man. That's why you like my cheese mo. Real cheese for real men. Now in a handy aluminum dispenser. UWC Online is taking over the world of social media. Connect with all of our fans through the official Facebook page, facebook.com slash UWC Georgetown. 
Watch all the past and current episodes of UWC Online on our official YouTube page. Get late-breaking news and notes when you follow at UWC Georgetown on Twitter. And check out the photographs and still shots from our world-class photographer on our official Instagram page. UWC Online, a truly interactive experience. Folks, I'm standing here in this, this newly constructed interview area. We're under a little bit of construction here in the battle zone, but I'm standing here with Aaron Matthews and... A couple of weeks ago, and I'm glad I got you here, a couple of weeks ago, you made history by squaring off in the ring against Conrad for the first time ever in both of your careers. Now, it, it was looking good for you. It looked like things were going your way until Cecil Cerveza stuck his nose in your business. And now, tonight, you've got Cecil Cerveza one-on-one. -on -one. What's going through your mind? For one, Cecil, I've been messing with you for 10 years, buddy. We've never been each other's friends, ever. Now you want to fight me? And now you got your brown noser Conrad in it? I don't even like I can never have. But guess what? And you guys want to double team me? You guys, you guys want to jump me week after week? I don't play that. It's not going to happen. Mm. Huh. They better know what's best for business. Certainly has been by the side of Cerveza and Cerveza by his side and recently. And we'll see, Conrad certainly has developed a very aggressive attitude. And we'll see how Cerveza rubs off on him here. But certainly they watch each other's back at this point. And we'll see how he puts himself in this match. I'm sure he will before it's done. Aaron Matthews. Working around, ties up. Cecil Cerveza as they work their way to the ropes. And into the ropes goes Cerveza. Comes off, solar tackle sends Matthews flying. Not much doubt, Cerveza is the stronger of the two. Matthews has the speed. Matthews comes out after Conrad a little bit. He can't let Conrad get in his head on the outside, but he has to keep an eye on him too. Matthews doesn't have anybody backing him up in this match. Locks up with Cerveza. Side headlock. Cerveza just whips him straight down. And working that headlock. Really cranking it on the neck of Matthews right now. Cerveza. Matthews makes his way up, takes some pressure off that neck and into the ropes. A break? No. Going to push him off into the ropes. Comes off. Arm drag takedown. And a second one. And a third one. And that's how quick Matthews is, quick as a rip, flying forearm, goes up to that second rope, and is going to start pounding away on the melon of Cecil Cerveza. Cerveza and picks him up out of there, and he's going to power bomb him off. No! Matthews hangs on, brings him through, brings him straight down, and Cerveza is going to take a siesta. El Diablo Dominicano, Cecil Cerveza. Uh, taking a bit of a walk, Matthews wanting to chase him a little bit, but Conrad keeping him away. Now coming off that ring apron, tries a super kick, doesn't go. 
And Cerveza, oh, just, just throws him into that apron. A lot of solid in that apron. Now a cover, you can see Matthews hurting his back on that. Cerveza and Con Conrad almost getting in a few licks, but pulls it away just in time. Now, Conrad again caught by the referee. The referee doing a good job and keeping him away. Cerveza, he's up the right hand to the top of the head and down goes Matthews. And again, side of the head and Matthews hits the canvas like a rag doll. Picking up Aaron. Crowd getting behind Matthews. Matthews blocks. Oh, a big drop kick. Lands almost like an axe kick that time and does get a two count. That almost came up and down. That was so high. Misses that time. Picks him up. And spinning and plants him. Wow. He really hit. He hit hard. He may be out cold. Cover one, two, no. You could see Cerveza knew he was going to roll out. Matthews really taking a hard hit to the back of the neck and head. These wrestlers wrestle with concussions and many concussions all the time, and I swear I talk to them as much as I can. But they'll get back in that ring like they shouldn't. You should always be very careful with concussions. And again, you should never try any of these things on your own. Driving in as Cerveza lands the forearm. Matthews pinned in that corner, framing him up again for a second try as Cerveza lands it again. He's mine, says Cerveza. Matthews follows him and boots him to the side of the head. Oh, and he just collapses. It's business time, or business time, I should say. Matthews lining him up, lining him up. Brings him, and no. Tried to bring him back, but Cerveza hung onto that rope, kicks him. Pile driver? No. Oh, into that top turnbuckle. Looked like Matthews tried to fight his way out of it a little bit. He's mine again. Matthews setting up and a kick. Right, lands him square. Just landed square. Both wrestlers down. And the referee making a count. You can see Conrad not happy on the outside at all. Trying to get his man up. Matthews still feeling the effects of that jackknife into the corner. Both wrestlers making their way up. Cerveza took that right square on the chin. Now both wrestlers have made their way up. Matthews is going to run in, land a forearm. And uh, that leg lariat lands. Stomping an elbow drop on the back of the head. Matthews going up at Conrad, getting in his face. This is what Conrad is there for, to make sure nothing like this happens. Matthews trying to get to that top rope. Cerveza gets up. And oh, Matthews is hung up. Matthews is hung up in the corner. This isn't good at all. This is very bad. And he brought him up. Matthews trying to fight his way out. Matthews was really locked in that corner. He's fighting his way out as best he can. He really doesn't have the advantage here. Cerveza is just going to kick him in the side of the head. <laughs> Up that top rope. Is that going to be a superplex? Could be. Shot to the gut. And Matthews trying to fire his way out. Both of these wrestlers up high. Shot to the side of the head. And drops him off that top rope. Now Matthews looking for some help from the crowd. He's going up to the top again. Conrad's on the other side of the ring. He can't help. Nope. He decides to just land him instead. And a cover. One, two, 
Matthews is going to go up. Second rope. He says it's over. Conrad trying to get his man's attention. Matthews is on that top rope. Cerveza is up. Cross body. Rolls through. Cover. One, two, three. He got the three count to Cerveza. He had some help on the outside from Conrad. Conrad had some help. Held down the struggling Cerveza, but the count will go with a one, two, three, and a win for Cecil Cerveza over Aaron Matthews. And at least this time, the team of Cerveza and Conrad. This time it appears the team of Cerveza and Conrad got the better of Matthews. And Matthews got the mic. Everybody, take your seat. This isn't over yet. For three weeks I came out here, I put my life on the line. And it's you two jerks that want to stick your nose in my business. I've been jumped. I've been beat up, but the thing is, I don't stay down. No, that's it. Fight me right now, both of you. Right now, fight me. Fight me, both of you. Fight. Hey, we was both of in the ring right now, and I'm sure the Conrad, the Conrad's gonna be really help back anyway. He's holding them both off. And, and uh, they're just kind of playing with him right now. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, really quickly. Please. Guys, guys, you might want to listen to this. Ladies and gentlemen, really second, quickly. Wait a second. I've once again received a, a Snapchat from Sheriff Titty Nashville. And uh, the Snapchat from Sheriff Titty Nashville says this. Aaron Matthews, Cecil, Conrad. This is this is directly from Sheriff Titty Nashville. Hey, hey, listen, this is from the sheriff. You gotta listen to me. He says that this thing between you guys over the last several weeks, it's always been a one-sided affair with the two of you basically going over on Aaron here and finding a way to just beat him up with the two of you. You did it when you got involved in a match with him and now he's involved in a match with you. So folks, guys, 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 hang on, hang on. The sheriff is ordering that next week there will be a rematch between Aaron Matthews and Cecil Cerveza. And to make sure, hang on, hang on. And to make sure there is a definitive winner, Conrad will be banned from the building. Well, they got over with, they got over on him this time, but it's going to be one-on-one -on -one next time. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for UWC Online. For the guys in back, for the folks who put this show together, I'm Eric Lloyd up in the crow's nest. We'll see you next time with more UWC Online. UWC Online, new episodes every Monday, youtube.com slash UWC Georgetown.